the cameras. Okay, now we got a camera. What? I forgot, I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? YouTube is cold blooded yeah, for that. Yeah, to be known. You got some important information. Yeah, this must be known. It's like, what I'm trying to say is like, the problem between black people and white people, black people and white people don't talk about it. And then when they do talk about it, you have somebody say, you fucking nigger, goddamn niggers, you're taking the world over, you hip hop music, shaggy pants. Well, motherfucker, you motherfuckers produce the music. Mm-hmm. A black man might sing the song, but you let it be on the radio. Uh, you know what I mean? As long as he's talking bitches and hoes, it's cool. But there was a, remember Paris? A Paris or whatever he was, he, his logo was a Black Panther. Well, he said something, he did a song called Kill the President, or some dumb shit like that. It was stupid. But when you have positive black rappers, they don't get no play. They get no play. You talk about freeing your mind and saving the world, that ain't gonna get no radio play. You know, you're talking about kill this nigga. That's on the radio. They even saying nigga and brought nigga in the daytime. I mean, you can uh, get the, remember the movie uh, Blazing Saddles? I don't know if you uh, remember. Uh, Mel's book. I think I've seen it. It sounds familiar. Man, it's one of my favorite movies in the world of all time. And he's got a black sheriff, right, in a white town. <laughs> That's off the hook. You know it's going to be funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's a cowboy. It's a western. I mean, Blazing Saddles right there, that tells you about America. It's, America is, it's pitiful. Hey, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what I, what I honestly believe mm. is, is the root, you know what I'm saying, of, of a lot of, a lot of the, the differences between the black and white communities or, you know what I'm saying, the brown and, uh, mm. Caucasian or whatever you want to say if you don't like saying black because I'm trying to get away from that too because yeah because that's that's the label right there black and white that's the label yeah, but, but Caucasian the, problem, what, the what? real problem I see you know from my perspective and, and I would hope that, that people can agree is the fact that the, we don't we don't see our enemy as being the same person you know what I'm saying we see our enemy as being each other when in actuality yeah. The, the 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 person on top of the pyramid, you know what I'm saying? That's both of our enemies. Yeah, we have a common um, we have a common enemy. On different sides of the pyramid working our way up, you know what I'm saying? Mm. We won't know to the end till we get to the top. Mm. And hey, we had the same fucking enemy the whole time. Yeah, but see, but when you try to tell white people that they have been lied to worse than us, they're like, Oh, it's just another nigger's tactics. It's just another black man trying to throw the blame somewhere else when the blame should solely be on black people for what black people's problems are. That's what people are going to say. Mm-hmm. That black people enslaved black people first, therefore it was okay when white men did it. No. Hey. It wasn't okay hey. when the white man enslaved yeah, the black man. Yourself. It wasn't okay when the black man enslaved the black man. It's not okay that the white man is enslaving the white man under, under the cloak and dagger White man is white man has been enslaved longer than black people, because remember they had to believe shit before we even got here. They had to believe what they were told. Hey, we're gonna bring in these African Americans. Uh, don't worry about them. Uh, they're just here to serve you. They had to believe. They had to believe what they were doing was right, in order for them to continue doing it. And those who opposed them was fucking killed most likely. But you look at them being enslaved. They don't see it. They can't even see when it happened. You know what I mean? Um, nah, this whole, this whole, that's why I don't really, that's why I made the video a while ago, just burnt my American flag. Like, mm. like this whole, this whole division between nations and this country and this country and mm. new power of the world, you know what I'm saying? That's all a distraction. In the first place, the United States was probably, at best, an experiment Exactly. An experiment to how these uh these elite people could control the world. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it's just showing that their experiment is going perfectly fine. You know what I'm saying? It's getting to the end of their experiment with America, mm-hmm. and and we still divide and conquer. You know mm-hmm. that was what they wanted to see. They wanted to see could they take a group of people and work them and of all of their their resources, all of their all mm-hmm. of their money and all of their hard labor, mm-hmm. and at the end of the day them not even suspect 
what was going on in the first place. Exactly. You know and, and that's what's going on. We don't suspect nothing. We suspect each other. We look at each other when in actuality it's someone higher up there, like we see on top of that pyramid. Exactly. Now, and just laughing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the guy behind the curtain. The only people that the rich elite have to worry about is their immediate family. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn about my son's mother-in-law's cousin. You know what I'm saying? It's like they just take care of their immediate family, the five people that they give a damn about. And then those five people branch out. You know what I mean? And before this cut off, well, I was talking about the big new Brzezinski or whatever. is mm. you on him on YouTube called Deeply Troubled. The big new Brzezinski is mm. Deeply Troubled. Deeply Troubled. But, uh, but, uh, but he's like one of those people. He's one of uh, Obama's advisors, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. he's Obama's advisors, and he's been around for a while. He's been under different president's terms, you know what I'm saying? He's mm. been there, he's been a figure around there. He's a member of the CFR, mm. a member of a lot of those different Bilderberg organizations. He's he a member of a lot of those. And he came out and said it straight up. These people will tell you, you know what I'm saying? When we talk about this pyramid, mm. this guy, he's not at the top of the pyramid, but he's up there. He's on it, yeah, he's on it. He ain't at the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he ain't on the bottom with us, you know. Mm. He's up there, and he came out. Saying I am deeply troubled by the the mass awakening uh, of people to politics and, and and different things like that. Like these people, and, and when you hear him say it, let's see if I can get it to play. Mm. When you hear him say it, like this dude sound like he about to cry. <laughs> yeah, because we got um, I say we got three minutes. Then we'll run it again. Okay. All right, well listen to this. Then. You're walking around couldn't care less. You're waiting for the next movie to come out, the next fashion, and all that. What Hollywood's going to do next? But, but there's people there who have, who have a thorough understanding of human consciousness, human psyche, human libido, and they're working on it 24/7 to feather their own nests and also to keep man in servitude, man whom they think is their creation. You know, they, they think of man as just being one of their own, one of their own, uh, you know. Like if somebody, if somebody treats a pet, you actually watch how people mostly treat their pets. You know, when we really watch it, you'll find that the pet is a slave. Well, we have people ruling the society who think of human beings as pets and slaves. Yeah, they provide you some food and they take you for a walk now and again. You know, but they basically you're that you are a pet and you'll be told where to sit and where to go and what to do. Yeah, that should be obvious to people by now. But these individuals don't really have any fear of us, but they do have fear of us to the extent that they know if we were awakened what we could do. I'm deeply troubled that a very this is mm -hmm. emotionally stated, semi the semi theologically defined diagnosis of the central global menace is obscuring our national ability to comprehend the historically unprecedented challenge which is being posed in our time by a massive global political awakening and thus is obstructing our ability to deal effectively with the global political turmoil that this awakening is generating. So that they're... You hear that? Yeah, he's scared to death. <laughs> yeah, you know. They're going to lose their grip. But see, scared of people waking up because they feel like we're going to get in the way of their, their grand scheme, you know what I'm saying? Their grand scheme yeah. is to puppetize us, make us puppets, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, but shit. Yeah. But who's going to wipe their ass, though? Who's going to wipe their ass when it's just puppets? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you can teach pets a lot of things. If you <laughs> but just think about it. <laughs> They have elephants, you know what I'm saying? They mm. teach elephants how to jump through hoops and shit. They <laughs> teach people how to wipe their ass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> At the end of the day, they're going to make you do what they want you to do as long as you stay in that bubble yeah, and, but, and hypnotize. It's like a, it's, it's a mind control. But yeah, the, I, I think the greatest mind control they ever came up with was the, the uh, alternate reality machine. You know what that is, don't you? Mm -hmm. Video game system. I can win a Super Bowl without getting hit. I can win an NBA championship. Dunk on everybody. Dunk on LeBron without the video being erased. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
when they created video games, they gave us an alternate reality. People go to that alternate reality to beat this reality. 